French to dry is séché, and then I dry. Je suis sec. Je suis sec. I do have another dry white shirt, so we're good to go. sack. Let's begin. So, today we're going to be talking about the weather, or in French, la météo. Now, this is just in case you're ever in a French-speaking country and somebody comes up to you and says, get to you will know how to respond. So, quel temps fait-il? That means, what's the weather? And there's a few ways to answer it. And this part's gonna get a little tricky, but I know that you are very smart to être très intelligent. So, the three ways Adjective, a noun, or a verb. So, if you want to use an adjective like it's beautiful outside, you would say il fait, and then the adjective. So, in this case, il fait beau. It is beautiful. So, let's go over. When we go through French words, I like to I like to cross off the words that are the letters that are not pronounced. So il fait beau. And then so that means il fait. It's beautiful outside. So it can also be applied to a human. So if I want to say that you are beautiful. Is it he? Let's talk about that. So, honestly, nobody knows. He is anonymous and he prefers his privacy. So, let's keep it that way. But whenever you're talking about the weather, you are going to say he, il fait. So, il fait. Mauve. And mauve just means like it's ugly. It's bad out there. You don't want to go out there. So, il fait mauve. So, il fait mauve. Il fait mauve. That means, yeah, it's ugly. Stay inside. Watch a nice movie. Next, il fait, and this one is pronounced weird, so pay attention, il fait froid, il fait froid, and that means it's very cold, froid, so heavy jacket weather that's not getting around. Il fait froid, il fait froid. Next is il fait frais. So il fait frais. 
next. I'm sorry, there are so many. There's so many, you know, different types of weather. And I just want to go through this with you. Just in case. I know you're going to go to France. I know you will. Or maybe even Montreal or Quebec. So. Il fait une Don't pronounce the H, so you need your fate. You would actually kind of pronounce the T, so your fate is you need. And that means if it's humid outside, it's uncomfortable. I live in Cleveland, so we're very used to humid, uncomfortable weather. So you say you need. You don't pronounce the X, so you fait nuage. And if you know the word nuage, that is the word for clouds. So if there are clouds in the sky, it would you would say il fait nuage. So it's cloudy. Next is orage. So, il fait orage. And if you know the word orage, that means thunderstorm. So, il fait orage. That means it's stormy. You'll definitely want to stay inside with a nice blanket and a hot cup of tea. Now, okay, only two more. <laughs> We say here though, this means it's mild. It's not too bad outside. It's a nice temperature. You fait do. And then, all right, this is the last of the regular ones. Good job. Good job. You're making it through. Yeah. to the nouns. So if you're using a noun, you're going to want to say il fait de. So it makes of the, or it, it does of the. So in this case, this is wind. Il fait de bon. Du soleil, il fait du 
want to say This word. I bet you can guess what this word is. This is the clay. So we're talking about degrees. So if you want to say that it is, let's say, 30 degrees. So you fait such a good job today and I can just tell